Thanks, Nasky and Corla. Taoiseach, the general public and workers at RTE are utterly appalled at the revelations of secret payments to Ryan Tuberty. They raise a number of questions about the uh, public service role of uh, RTE. And one aspect is the function of effectively secret agreements with companies. In this case, what we are led to believe is that in 2020, RTE made an arrangement with a car company, Renault, whereby in order to avoid it appearing on RTE's balance sheet, um, Renault would make a payment of €75,000 to Ryan Tuberty, in return for which Renault got a credit note for advertising worth €75,000 and uh, a number of visits, three visits, I think, by Ryan Tuberty. In other words, it cost Renault nothing um, and Renault actually get a, a benefit uh, from it. It raises a couple of questions. One, um, there was an FOI to which an answer from RTE Climate Watch, which an answer was received on the 15th of February 2022, asking about all communications and documents regarding any payments or payments in kind from the motoring, aviation or travel industries to any RTE staff member, which the answer came back to say, no, there wasn't anything. It seems to suggest that that FOI is, is incorrect. But secondly, it, it raises a broader question about the role of fossil fuel advertising at RTE and whether it's having an influence on editorially what is produced. An interesting fact, Late Late Show in its entire history referenced climate change twice, both times having climate change deniers on. It didn't deal with this like biggest issue facing all of humanity at, at any stage. And I think it's time to have a conversation about getting rid of the influence of these fossil fuel companies as we've gotten rid of the role of uh, tobacco advertising, for example. Dr. Murphy raised the issue of RT and, and climate. I, I think RT cl covers climate a lot, maybe not on the Late Late Show, but um, uh, a lot on the website, a lot on the news, and a lot of programmes uh, dealing with that, that issue. And, uh, um, covered generally by George Lee, who I think uh, covers it very well and, and, and passionately. Um, the, um, the, the, the issue, issue of Ireland's spend on healthcare uh, was raised, um, and uh, it is the case that spending in Ireland is now much higher than it used to be. Back when I was health minister, which isn't all that long ago, we spent about 14 or 15 billion euro on health. It's now 24 billion, um, a huge amount of money now being spent on health. Uh, and as the deputy pointed out, on a per capita basis. Now, there are always different ways of measuring these things, but broadly speaking, on a per capita basis, uh, our health spending is now one of the highest uh, in the developed world. Uh, there's different reasons for that. We, we very high pay levels. Uh, compare uh, pay in the health service in Ireland with Northern Ireland, the UK, uh, almost anywhere other than the Middle East or, or Australia, and you'll see that we pay very well. Um, we have a very high number of nurses, for example, almost more nurses per head and bed. Uh, than uh, almost any other healthcare system uh, in, in the world. We do pay a lot for medicines as well, uh, which is um, an issue. Uh, and the fact that we um, uh, have quite old buildings uh, and old uh, structures, uh, I think, adds to the cost, cost as well. Um, there are different healthcare rankings. Um, it's not the only one, and we're not 80th in all of them. Uh, you know, from life expectancy, for example, we do very well, one of the highest in the EU, um, much better. Uh, cancer survival, heart attack survival, stroke survival rates than the NHS, for example, which met some people for some reason uh, believe should be an example that we should follow. Uh, our patient outcomes are generally much better uh, than that, that, that system. Um, of the 24 billion, I don't know how much goes, goes to private contractors, whether it's um, uh, agency staff or whether it's NTPF. Uh, I suspect it's less than 10%. Um, so it's very high levels of public funding uh, into our public health service.